What's up guys? Welcome back to Detail with Jess. Today we are doing an interior detail and I'm sharing with you one of the biggest struggles that I'm currently going through. The biggest struggle I'm currently facing in business right now is taking on an employee. Holy moly. Just an FYI, when I say employee in this particular case, it does happen to be my husband. We are both down here working together and I thought it would be so amazing to have an extra hand on hand and kind of take some of the workload off. Yes, that is definitely the case, but holy moly, it's been a challenge. Sharing that with you guys in today's detail and as always, just keeping it real with you. Let's get into today's detail. We are doing a full interior detail and let's just jump into it. So my client today requested that I come pick his car up. So that is what we did. We're just doing an interior today. He's got a couple concerns. One of them being the seat belt being dirty. The other one being the headliner being dirty. So we've got a couple of fun little challenges in this detail. Super excited. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get to work and try some new techniques and have some fun. So this is what we're dealing with. It's a pretty clean car, but there is some dirt and dust accumulated. Floor mats are a bit dirty. So we're gonna see if we can clean those up a bit. Um, a lot of this is just completely worn out. But we're gonna do our best to clean those up and underneath the floor mats, pretty much just some dirt. This is an older vehicle, but it's in really good condition, so. Some of it just is what it is. The biggest concern of his in here hits his head on the headliner a bit. So we're gonna try to clean that up for him. He would love these seatbelts clean if we can get those cleaned. So we're gonna do the best we can to work on those. I'm just gonna start with removing the floor mats. Always one of the first steps that I do after taking videos of the interior, but um, the front floor mats are definitely going to need some drill brushing and some stain removal. I'm not gonna power wash those. The back ones here, these are just some aftermarket floor mats that are going to be power washed for sure. The client had told me that he spilt some laundry detergent on that back one, so that should at least come nice and clean, right? So I did a bit of cleaning on this one to try out one process. What I used was basically just saturating the entire seatbelt in Terminator, PNS Terminator, rubbed it in with my fingers, and then I scrubbed it with a nail brush. And I just wanna let that sit and dry for a minute to see what results we get once it dries out a little bit. The biggest concern is more so the driver's side. So I wanted to start with the passenger side to see what we would get for results. It's still dirty, but um, I'm gonna try a couple other things. But I just wanted to see where this left us off once it dries. So while that seatbelt's drying, I'm gonna make my way onto the headliner. We've got quite a dirty headliner here, this area being the biggest concern, mainly the driver's side here clean up some of these areas just lightly. Spray some of these spots down. Let it sit for a quick minute. Sometimes you don't even need anything. Things come right off. Kind of like these spots. These spots actually aren't even dirty. You can just wipe them right away. Um, a lot of this is just the fabric more than it is actually any dirt. Those, those could use a little attention. But that's kind of coming off there. You can see it's coming right onto my towel. And then we'll move on. I'm gonna try and get these areas now after they sat for a moment. I like to do these things first in my detail because then they have time to dry and then I can actually see, oh yeah, look at that, holy moly. And then I can actually see 
if the spot came clean and worst case scenario, I can adjust it towards the end of my detail once it dries, if it's not clean. But we're looking like we're making a huge impact here. Oh yeah, even in video, it looks clean. That's always the true sign. Oh boy, my main man. We had a real busy start to the week, so we actually didn't have anything on hand for breakfast, and it is our weekly treat day. So Adam ran to the store to grab some donuts for breakfast. All right, so that ceiling in the back is looking really good. So now we're just gonna start to make our way forward here. And just so we can see for comparison, this is my microfiber towel right now. And then I'm gonna go give it a little wipe down. And that's what it's looking like. So we are definitely cleaning this thing up quite a bit. I gotta get me one of these in real quick. Oh boy, right here. That's the one. Well, I finished up the seat belts because I wanted to get those done early so they could then dry so I could see what they looked like. Adam started vacuuming the entire car and air compressing everything out. And this is what the driver's side seat belt is looking like. It's really dirty and the Terminator doesn't seem to be cleaning much. So I'm breaking out the steamer to see what that'll do for the seat belts. I always keep these clips in my van, so I'm just gonna pull the entire seatbelt out. I'm gonna clip it so it holds it out, and I'm gonna get to cleaning these things up. Sweet, so we just had somebody walking by. We're gonna do his uh, windows and the exterior of his truck once uh, he has his availability, so another job. So on this belt, I tried using super clean and I had it diluted one to 10 because it is a degreaser and there's so much grease on these things and the dirt was just pouring right on off. I started to steam clean them to try to do an additional cleaning and that helped a tiny bit, but not a ton. I walked over to grab a tool from the van real quick and this is what I walked over to. The entire van was flooding. Now I have a very simple rule when it comes to the remote that controls all of my appliances and that is that the remote stays in the basket because when the remote sits in your pocket, do you know what happens? When you're working, buttons accidentally get pushed, pumps accidentally turn on, and this happens. The entire back of your van floods. And that's exactly what happened. Adam had the remote in his pocket and the pump turned on and now I've got a freaking mess to clean up. But the second reason is that the remote to the appliances should always be accessible to everybody. So if you need to use it, you shouldn't have to stop and ask somebody else for it. You should just be able to turn things on as needed. That's why it stays in the basket, but things happen. Lessons will be learned. But anyways, as Adam was cleaning all the hard surfaces and the leather within the vehicle, I moved on and started doing all of the floor mats. These were pretty dirty and pretty stained, so I used, of course, PNS Terminator, and then I also used the carpet bomber on the fabric floor mats for the front, and then I just power washed and drill brushed the ones in the back. So definitely one of the most challenging aspects of working with somebody else is that they don't have like the systems down as quick, nor do we have a system in place. So it's really difficult to create a system for two people to constantly be working. So yeah, that's a challenge. Like right now I just have to do like the final bits of what I have to do, but they're still using the product and the tools that I need. So I can't, I can't do anything. So I'm just doing my best to clean up. Putting those systems in place is a challenge. We're gonna figure it out. This is our uh, really our second detail together. Like there's a lot of techniques that I've learned to make my interior processes so much more quick. Um, and they just don't know those yet. So it takes time and repetition to really understand and get the process down. So learning to make the cleaning process quicker is definitely key. And that's kind of where I'm at um, with my husband right now. Something that would take me maybe 10 minutes is taking him maybe 40. So it's definitely a challenge. 
So Adam had done all of the hard surfaces and the leather, but when it came to some of the detailed cleaning around the steering wheel and all of the buttons, he kind of left that to me. Uh, this process made things a little bit more timely because we were going back and forth and I needed product that he was using and then I was just sitting around and waiting in a lot of circumstances. So this definitely was not a flow that worked for us. And when I was doing my final video through of the vehicle, I noticed like some areas like this were just still super dirty. So then I had to go back through and clean them. Um, like I said, it's just that person needs to learn the new techniques and it's really difficult to teach someone and have them understand why you do things the way you do. So I went back and cleaned it and just kind of did a second look over of the vehicle to make sure everything looked good. And other than that, everything was looking really, really good. I told this client that this would be a three and a half hour detail because I knew that the headliner, especially the seatbelts, were going to take some extra time. So I did a quick video of the finished product of the vehicle and then I drove it back and delivered it to the client. And I've got the client's reaction, so stay tuned for that. But overall, the headliner came out so good and I think he's going to be really happy with that. A ton of grime also came off the seatbelts. They're still dirty looking, but this is a 15 plus year old vehicle, has over 250,000 miles, but they did come out really good. I would love to try other techniques if I had had the time, but they came out so much cleaner than what they started off as. Uh, yeah, this is just great. So we got most. Yeah, that's most. amazing. I didn't think you'd get it all up. That is amazing. Gosh, beautiful. I didn't think it'd come this clean, but it is. Yeah, it came out great. Yeah, they're, I need to replace them, but yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Love it. Excellent. Right, that detail is done. Car is delivered. Owner's happy. Um, I got somebody else asking me to do their transit, so I got to head over and talk to them now. And we'll see where that one goes. Let me interject real quick here. I had zero opportunity to get any footage of this next detail that we did today because we had to bust butt so he was he was kind of stressing because it was overdue for its detail that he normally gets done on a weekly basis and he was just like you want to do it right now and i was kind of like yeah let's do this we got it done it was a full interior exterior of a passenger transit van it came out awesome it looked great i can say we had a much better flow working with two people on this second vehicle. So after our first detail, we basically had a little team meeting. It was just a shit show doing this first vehicle. I was just trying to get done what I could get done around him, but we didn't have any system in place. And then we just ended up being in each other's way. And it was just a mess. I think whether you're working with your spouse, which a lot of detailers are working together with their spouses, raise your hand if that's you i'd love to hear from you guys or you're working with a new employee you have to learn to converse learn to properly communicate learn to manage your emotions when you get frustrated with things and you have to have systems in place we just hadn't had those systems in place yet so doing this second detail of the day we had a meeting a little team meeting discussed exactly what our process should look like how we can work together and how we can make our details faster because at this point in time our details had been taking just as much time as it takes me to do it by myself. But our second detail flowed so effortlessly. I'm hoping that we kind of have the system in place now and kind of he's understanding the details, he's understanding the products and the process of, hey, this is how we get this done quickest. And yes, we want this clean, but let's not go psycho over a 15 year old car. Any business needs to have systems in place and this is a great opportunity for me I feel to start to learn those systems and learn how to work with an employee if I ever decide to grow this business or grow another business and understanding the importance of how to figure out how to put those systems in place so we're really starting to find our flow of working together and getting details and just finding our vibe down here. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. If you like this video, if you found it helpful or just entertaining, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, we'll see you next time at our next detail.